All right, so the, the goal for today is just to get some nice landscape shots. It's been a while since I've been out and uh, you know, I really love shooting in the snow. So let's see what we can get today. All right, we made it to the reservoir. Let's take some pictures. <clears throat> oh, oh, geez, oh, oh, geez. All right, this snow is super nice and I am glad I came out today because this is the style of snow that's like really, you know, picturesque. You got the like really large snowflakes that are kind of like floating down to the ground. And I just think it looks really nice. This is my usual go-to for landscape pictures around here. Um, other than that, you know, on the East Coast you have West Virginia, Virginia. So check this out. So I am shooting on the Canon EOS R right now. The video quality I'm using is 1080p at uh, 60 frames per second, just because, you know, if I want to later in post, I can slow some of this footage down and get really nice um, capture of the snowfall. So something that comes to mind is, you know, everyone says that they, on the Canon EOS R6, they prefer that physical dial on top to switch the modes between like uh, aperture priority, shutter priority, or video, or you know whatever. But honestly, I think that the mode dial on the Canon EOS R and R5 is faster. It's really just two hits of the button, and that's it. So um, you know, it's a little thing, but it's something I just noticed. I have the RF 15 to 35 f 2.8 on the. R right now and you know this is one of my favorite lenses especially for landscape obviously such a great focal range we're really testing out the weather ceiling of the lens and the camera today so I will let you know if my stuff breaks so this is definitely when I like to use the EOS R when I'm in these kind of crazy weather conditions not that I don't think that the R6 has some decent weather ceiling on it the, the Canon EOS R just feels like it's more like up to the challenge. Oh, I better watch where I'm going. But um, yeah, this is, this is where this camera really shines. And 30 megapixels, that's a good, that's a good amount of detail in your, in your photos. You're gonna be able to print large. You know, people get so hung up about these high resolution sensors, but you know, 30 megapixels is definitely enough. Yeah, you have to see this camera. This thing is drenched. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna make it. Don't mind my Orioles jacket. I just wear it to keep warm. I hate baseball. I really can't say it enough, this 15 to 35 millimeter focal range is really perfect for landscape. Um, obviously when you're in places where there are, you know, large mountains and you're higher up, you might want to get a, uh, a telephoto lens like that 100, 500, but for a place like this, it really is perfect. All right, so the camera looks decent. Um, the only thing I notice is inside the viewfinder, it's fogging up, so it looks like some some water got in there. Hopefully that doesn't break anything. But yeah, other than that, the camera still works, so great. All right, I think I'm gonna call it a day. That was a short trip, but I really don't actually wanna break this camera. So um, we'll check out the photos when I get home, see if I got anything good, which I think I did. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.